Oh, the lighting's a bit yellow in here, isn't it? We're going to have to work on that. Hello, welcome back to another pointless episode of me opening crap. I hope you're enjoying yourself, because I know I am. Um, this one in particular took a while to source. A very long while, and although it's not quite what I managed to acquire as a child, it's pretty damn close, if you recognise, though you know what we're looking at. Here's a box. It's in the box. I can't show you the other side because it's got addresses on and I can't get rid of them. But yes, so... <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to this one. So we're just going to sort of open this and then turn it to hide addresses. And here we go. Dear Michael, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your day. This has been sitting in a box for a while. The postman actually physically dropped it on the floor when he delivered it, which really made me cross. I, like he threw it over the fence. So uh, yeah, uh, DBD, you suck. I hate you. But yes, I was able to source down a playset from the 90s that is incredibly reminiscent of a playset from the 90s I had. And I'm pretty sure it's made by the exact same people, but it's not quite the set I had. And I've been looking forward... I've had it for a couple of months, actually, but I've been really looking forward to making a video. As I said, we've covered before uh, the International Airport with its bus and a lorry, which was covered as well which is International Airline Cargo, the famous airline of the world. No statement there. So I went looking for 90s airplane sets, and guess what I found? This one is actually a branded set, if I recall correctly. Um, but it's still pretty sure it's made by the exact same people who made that one, those ones. Oh, I just got to open it up. And it's, oh, it's so nostalgic. I remember they walked away with the, from a store with... Uh, a set like this, but oh my goodness gracious. Hi. Here we go. <laughs> it's the Action Pack City Team Airport Playset. 25 whole pieces. This one done by Kel A. Kel A. M. Kel A. K. Cutlutma. Cutlutum. Damn. Which is a Dutch airline. And these things. Oh my gosh, I remember these things. And I say it's the same company because let's be fair. I mean, come on. Come on. This is so nostalgic for me right now. I, I'm beaming, but you can't see it because I'm turned away. I'm just, oh. It's never been open. Um, you know, die-cast metal, authentic details. It is a very basic playset. Um, and it was done by a cheap manufacturer. City Team didn't make particularly good products, but they made products nonetheless. I said, this one is branded. The one I had was obviously... As a kid, was not branded, but uh, yeah. On the back, you just got this nice artwork here that's very 90s, makes everything look like a Ferrari. 25 pieces. There we go. Warning for ages four and up. Children contains small parts, which maybe has these children under the age of three years. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, 6365. Uh, that's Dutch. I know that much. I'm assuming this was sold. Most likely at an airport in the Netherlands somewhere because it is branded as a Netherlands-based one. I'm assuming they did many different things because I said we've got a lorry down here and we have a lorry here, which is the same, except we had a trailer. You know, International Airline, International Airline. The similarities are striking. If this isn't made by the same company, then I shall kiss Pidge on camera. Mind you, that's not really much of a problem anyway. But yes, I'm just going to quickly check to see if this has ever been opened. This has potentially, potentially been opened. Uh, I'm not going to peel it off. I'm literally just going to slice the size. Oh, we get a free City Team Airport mat as well, which I'm really looking forward to looking at because I didn't get one of those. So I'm just going to very carefully slice them because I want to keep this nice. This is mass nostalgia for me. I'm actually dead pleased to have tracked this down uh, or one of these down. It wasn't that expensive either. It was only about uh, £25, not including postage, which I thought was pretty dosh darn good. Oh. <sighs> All right, let's discard the box down there carefully. Now, I can immediately feel there's something under there. There's... That's the mat. Okay, so there's a big piece of cardboard under here and the mat, which we will recover now and put to one side. And here we are. Here we are. Six, five, six, three, six, five. <sighs> this is um, amazing. <laughs> Like, for me, this is amazing. I don't care. Can we get this propped up somehow? Where's that? Let's use this uh, hard drive storage. I can't fit my computer because of the graphics card. To get this propped up so we can look at it. 
I mean, obviously, we're going to take everything out to have a look as well, but I'm just... Oh, my mind is being blown by this. Just this. The fact it's here. Because I had that one, and I had that one, and obviously I've still got the lorry, but it was a different design of lorry. And I remember those, and I remember these. I remember the aircraft. My one was white. And I remember that, and I remember these signs. I just remember it all. I don't remember those. Okay, let's uh, start to very carefully pull things. Oh. Very carefully pull things out, he said, and then he immediately breaks it. Gosh darn it. Oh, for flipping X sake. That's, oh, God, I can't swear it's my YouTube channel. Right, that's gone back in. Um, doesn't actually look like it was attached by anything in the first place. Oh, well, that's the quality we're dealing with. International Airport, obviously, is 03. We've got, uh, they use a very standard logo here, which the printing is actually really bad. If you look at the front of it, it's awful quality. But obviously, just a little uh, thing made in China. No surprise there. A little thing that will be used to pull along these uh, trollage. Trollage? Luggage trolleys. Uh, luggage trolleys appear to be attached at the bottom. Do they open? It certainly looks like they do. Oh gosh, that's so brittle. But yes, they open. Nice little attention to detail, that. Not actually bad. That's plastic. I don't like that. I've just got a trailer on the back. So we've got <laughs> one luggage trolley. I mean, it's all it's all positioned here, so I can't get it all on camera. We'll have a look at everything combined at the end. Um, oh god, I just don't want to break anything now. I mean, when you're a kid, you can just... Oh, gosh, they do come off. You can just tear it off, but you can't do that here, obviously. So they do just come off, which is pretty cool, because it means you can separate them. Do the front open? They've got little handles there. Nice little moulding details. Or oh, that's just where it was connected to the mould. Who knows? I'm going to say I call it details. Stickers on both sides, once again. The uh, Oh, that's stiff. But it opens. I just trapped the cut. Got a cut on my thumb, and I literally just trapped it in the door. This place that is dangerous. And a nice little trollage. Just another trolley luggage dolly at the bottom there. That's nice. Uh, they don't work very well. Yeah, and this is obviously what's meant to be on the end. So the suitcases that you get will go in there. So I'm just going to put, so I'm just going to place these down here out of view. We're just going to, you know, slowly mic our way through all the vehicles. Don't even know if we'll bother getting these out because I don't think I can get them out without damaging the um, the shrink wrap plastic backing. And I'm really keen to try, as I said, try and keep this in good nick because I'm keeping this set. International Airport looks like some kind of generator um, on a lorry made in China. Very cheap, you know, plastic base, die cast metal. Hello, Pidge. Nothing special about it. The stickers are quite nice. I mean, it's just like something's not gone wrong. There's a door. This doesn't appear to come off, but this whole back is shaky. I don't know why, but I'm not going to trust my luck considering I've already broken one of the damn things, which has annoyed me. What we got here? Careful, 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 careful. Oh, we've got a flat thing. Different wheel design there, if you look, actually. They've got a different kind of rim to them, and they look a bit thinner. I don't think they are, to be fair. They also have treads on them. I don't know what this is. It, it's flat. Is it for carrying things on? It's got a towing hook, so I assume it's for pulling something along. International Airport. There's not much to say about it, really. It's International Airport. Just the whole thing is... Amazing as far as I care. Right, now I've got to... Oh, hang on. This was sitting in the bottom of the International Airport thing, so I'm going to assume that hook's on there. Yeah, this is um, this is going to be an aircraft tug. So if we actually get the aircraft out now, carefully... Obviously, the aircraft isn't in scale to everything else. It's actually quite a nice little model, to be fair. Do the uh, landing gear fold up? It looks like they should, but they... It looks like there's a space for them to do so, but I'm not going to test it. I think the idea with this is is that you hook this around here somehow. There we go. Literally just like that. And then the aircraft is tugged by this vehicle to wherever the hell it needs to be tugged to. So that's actually a nice little detail. Let's uh, put that down there and have a quick look at this aircraft. Uh, KLM. The stickers are a bit naff. Uh, the doors appear to be on the bodywork. KL788. Yeah, no, it's, it's all right. It's a cheap Chinese toy. It's a Boeing something, something, something jet. Very nice. Now, back to what we were doing before I got distracted by a tiny piece of plastic. Oh, gosh. Uh, can I get this one out, please? These are not easy to get out. I mean, okay, yes. It's a bus we've looked at before because I already I mean, happen to own one. I mean, it is the same bus as well. Also, is that my name? 
almost looks like somebody wrote my initials on there, but they didn't. You know, they're both bus 27. Both at the back. I don't like airport buses much, but I obviously do like buses. It's just nice to see another one of these in good nick. I'm, you know, genuinely quite pleased. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a loser. Um, but at least I can admit it. Right, let's get you out now. You came out quite easy. So this is obviously the... Um, stand walkway for the aircraft which is uh, a bit too large for the aircraft in this set but that's fine they're obviously not going for uh, realism on this one uh most of this is plastic this bit is die cast but the entirety of the stairs are plastic and it feels quite cheap and brittle plastic like it will break fairly simply which is understandable um those axles already look bent but they're not made in china your, your, your. Did I mention I didn't get to sleep until like 4 a.m. yesterday because my body was just like, you've been to a wedding. You've got to be up all night now. Hooray. Nice, nice little toy, though. You know, it's all sort of airport set based thing. Let's get this one out because I, I remember this. I My last set had one of these because why wouldn't it? Now, the question is, can I get it out? Um, oh, <laughs> uh, careful. Careful. Oh, gosh. Wow. That was a tight fit. That really doesn't want to go down. So what this is, is this is what delivers the hot food to the aircraft. Uh, as you can see, it's got a thing on the front here. So you sort of, I think, well, you either drive up to the back and open it. Can't open the back. And then you just uh, deliver the hot food through. But, you know, as a little detail on a toy, it's pretty nice. It's obviously cheap and won't last children playing with it. I remember mine breaking quite quickly. But uh, it's a nice little detail that we've, uh, we've got to give them credit for. You know, they've done that quite well. Um, this is going to be a short video because we're not taking the signs out because I don't want to take them out because they will be a pain in the backside to get in. I thought we'll see if we can get that suitcase out actually because it looks like it might just be willing to, yeah, there we go, might just be willing to pop out for us. Obviously a massively oversized suitcase which is supposed to go in here, which is fine, or it could go inside one of the cases. Containers, considering the suitcase is, you know, a good size of the bloody uh, thing. This is going to be like a six foot tall suitcase to start with. So, all right, it's just a little hollow piece of plastic. Molding's a bit naff, but what do you expect? Going to put that back in there, and we're not going to take any of these out. As I said, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to damage any of the, the plastic on this because I do plan to keep this on some form of display in my house. Especially when the signs now. We take that one out because the sign doesn't even fit. Well, this sign doesn't fit, so we can get a look at this one. Uh, windy, hooray! Pretty standard uh, sign, really. Nothing on it. That's out of interest. It's very kind of cheap, nasty plastic, and it's too large for the plastic thing. It, like, it is legitimately too large for it. Which actually, I can see there's another one that has the same problem, but it's not handled so well. Um, if I literally just move this over here, this emergency sign, which is peeling slightly at the bottom, you can see maybe it appears to be bent. The sign itself appears to be bent. So that's just a good indication of the quality we're dealing with here. Not that I'm too bothered, I just like it for nostalgia. Right, now let's get this out. It appears they did do a smart thing by... Oh, wait, no, they did have the trailer hooked. I was about to say the trailer wasn't connected to the lorry, which would have been the smart thing, but obviously it was. Let's get the helicopter out of the way first. Oh, that was nice. It's a lorry with a trailer. Look at that hook. That's actually really bad when you look at it. Carries it around. Nice little moulding on the trailer. You know, trailers like this are pretty damn cool. Uh, in general, I mean, actually, we talk about moulding of the hook. Oh, no, don't drop it. Moulding of the hook, if you look at this, which did come from the same set, just a different version of it. You can see the hook is technically different there. Um, and are these sets intercompatible? Yes, yes, the old lorry, which is missing a wheel, could uh, definitely tow this one. Also made in China for good measure. But, yep, yeah, that's true. Uh, but that's quite nice. Uh, the lorry itself is pretty nice as well, actually. It's the fact they've got different colours on it. Got all the little rivet marks, exhaust, everything, internationals on the nose. Just not the tripod, doesn't really matter. Feels cheap and nasty, and it is cheap and nasty, but it's a nice kind of cheap and nasty, you know? Uh, actually, let's not connect that, because let's have a look at this helicopter. Pretty standard toy helicopter. It's got a rear blade at the back, which uh, doesn't appear to want to rotate, and I'm not going to test it. We've got two rotor blades, but then if you open them... Oh, I love it when toys used to do this. I don't think they do it anymore. It's got four rotor blades, and then when you've opened it, it, it doesn't like to work properly. So there you go. There's a helicopter with four rotor blades, and that's actually not a bad toy. Like, it's a good solid piece of die-cast metal. I mean, you can see, uh, actually looking at these, they're, uh, they're not very good, really. They're sort of already bent, but hey-ho. It's a good plastic toy with die-cast metal. The bit spins on top. You can get some enjoyment out of that. 
and it sits on the trailer and I noticed uh, you actually hook the front legs in like that and then the rear end in like this it's something along those lines it also looks like it's designed to hold like a car or something so yeah you could also transport a vehicle on it so this is actually a multi-purpose um, a multi-purpose type uh, yeah that one was the right one a trailer you can carry a lorry on the back of it because it's got wheel holders or if you wanted you could carry a helicopter on the back of it because it's got um, helicopter things on it but yeah that's everything that we're looking at in this set right now because I said I'm not taking anything out but that means we get to go to the exciting bit which is let's have a look at the map with the toys on it la 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 ah. and uh, here's the mat <laughs> It's a very, very cheap, thin plastic, as you would expect a mat in a set to be, but so be it. It comes with a selection of aircraft and an aircraft terminal, cars that are far too large, lorries on the side transporting cars, aircraft taking off. It is what it is, and we're going to um, populate it with the, uh, with the play items so we can see what it should look like when it's complete. Uh, that is the bus from the set, so the bus would surely be... Uh, coming around here to bring people around and uh, the lorry the transporting something or other with uh, the car. You see what I'm doing? I'm wasting your time. And there's this. And he's obviously coming around here. And <laughs> oh, my life is just so much fun. And I'm almost not being sarcastic. Um, oh, yeah, you'd be towing in here, but there's no vehicle that you're towing, which is fine. Um, you're going to be parked here with this dude. You're going to be bringing luggage. Oh, I'll show you the luggage thing as well and how it doesn't work at all, which is great fun. So we'll put that there. And then we'll put this here. And then we'll put this, which I thought I'd broken for a moment, hadn't been stop, stop giving everybody epilepsy. Here. And there is a, a completed airport playset for you right there on high quality plastic sheeting. This is really nostalgic for me, and despite the fact that I'm, you know, obviously I've been knocking the quality all the way through, and especially with this, which is horrible, I am really pleased to have got my hands on one of these sets. And now I have the very odious task of putting it all away. So, thanks much, Lee, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, oh, I was going to show you how to do this. And if you like, comment, and subscribe much, I might track down more things. See, it doesn't work. From my childhood, for us to look at, and you to go... Ballyak, you were an awful person, weren't you? I'll see you next time, people. Bye!